evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Federal High School for Time of Horse and Women's Basketball Matchup. We've been visiting Troy Flying Horses near Dublin and Dutchman. The New York State Public High School Athletic Association requires official to enforce on sports and trip rules for athletes and coaches. We will not tolerate any distinct interactions between the hosting players, coaches, and spectators. If such comments are heard or actually seen, they will be addressed by the coaches. Let tonight's contest reflect mutual respect. Be loud, be proud, and be positive. Thank you, and enjoy tonight's game. Now to the starters for the Troy Flying Horses. Starting at guard, number one sophomore, Trevante Bantry. At four, number 11, senior, legend, Merrick. At guard, number 12, freshman, Stetson Merrick. Junior Vincent Adam. And starting for number 22, Junior Janelle Taylor. And now your starters for your Gogolin Dutch Band. Starting at guard, number one senior, Nico Santa Barbara. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's broadcast of the, your Gilderland Dutchman against the Troy Flying Horses. Brenna and Matt on the call for you. We're ready for tip, and we are so excited to be back on the air. Oh, we Three weeks basketball. of no basketball yeah. has been driving us nuts. It has been rough. It has been. So we're back in action here. Um, you know, we, we've we've had a rough, rough year so far, yes. Matt. Yes. But uh, if there's going to be a win, it's going to be tonight. So hopefully the Dutch have brought it and they're ready to, to fight for everything. I couldn't agree more. Right now, Troy is 1-7 in seven within the league um, compared to our 0-8. So I, I think that this is, this is our time to shine. Starting off with a three-point basket immediately there by Stetson Merritt. Now, Stetson and his brother, Legend, are names that we know. Stetson's the ninth yeah. grader. Yeah. Last year's an eighth grader. We uh -huh. were like, holy okay. buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's going to be a problem. So we're going to have to shut him down immediately. David hey, Phil okay. ends with an answer there and a quick two for the Dutch. So we'll have to keep our eye on the on the um, on the brothers, the Merritt brothers, for sure, yeah, because they yeah. can definitely bring it. They have the most points for they have the most points for Troy, and they definitely carry the team. So well, I mean, with that first bucket, Stetson went over 200 for the season. He sure did, and Stetson just missed that three rebound to the Dutch. Ryan Gilbert brings it in, misses. Fight for the rebound comes down in the hands of Troy. I always love seeing the tenacity that Gilbert plays with. Yeah, Legend Merritt with the ball, get bumps around in there, gets the foul called. <laughs> We're without a shot clock again. 
So we're going to have to listen to Dr. Beanie count it down. She says when it's 10 and then counts down from 5. So. I mean, the amount of times this has happened with, uh, you know, girls' games, guys' games, I'm starting to feel like I want to borrow from the Mandalorian and say, it is the way. <laughs> it is the way. <laughs> it is the way. That foul was on number two, Ryan Gilbert. His first, team's first. Easy, quick uh, inbound for Troy. I was going to say a quick bucket, but I spoke too soon. That was not a quick bucket for them. Rebound to the Dutch. Santa Maria with the ball. Santa Barbara Santa with the ball. Barbara. I'm rusty with three weeks uh, off. Yeah, that, that would do it. I'm going to tell all of you, Brenna is so much faster <laughs> than me with names, uh, especially for, for especially for the post team. Oh, so. boy. Uh, Santa Barbara throws it away to Troy. Merritt Ooh. with the basket, misses, but grabs the foul. You know, I got to say, this is where I chime in and just give unsolicited. Actually, this solicited. You should be listening to us talk. Uh, the angle for that shot is so tough. And you can tell just how much body control that Merritt has right there to even approach that. And that no one on his team was shocked. Coach wasn't like, what are you doing? Right. Taking the shot as you're falling over. Everyone's like, yeah, that's what he does. Right, right. It's a talented player. That foul's on number 34, Nate Oliver. That's his first. Merritt misses his first at the line. They'll have another shot here. So we won both the freshman and the JV game. JV was pretty um, slanted in, in Gilden's favor for the most part, and he's good on the second. Uh, Troy made some valiant comebacks, though, and tight got it closer, but um, Gilden prevailed in both the freshman and the JV game tonight. So let's hope let's it's a three that. for three. So Dutch with the ball. Tyler Tazic cross oh. court over to Ryan Oliver. Back over to Tyler Tazic for three. Get Dang. it! Tyler Tazic. Tazic said our car school colors are red, but my shot is green. <laughs> uh, Vantry with the ball for Troy. Gets it to Taylor. Taylor to Merritt. Oh, in and out for Merritt. Rebound by Nico Santa Barbara. Gets it down to Watazic. Oliver wants it, doesn't get it. Three for Gilbert is good. That is the definition of give up a good shot yep. for a great shot. Yep. He drove, was able to draw the defense in, kick it out to the open guy, finish with the three. Love to see it. Stetson with the ball, Stetson Merritt with the ball, ninth grader. We'll just keep reminding you that all night because he right. doesn't play like a ninth grader at all. I, Tyler's I the surprise a, for a that little one. surprise there. I don't know why he was surprised. I know, because be it, it looked like his hand made direct <laughs> contact with the face. That's what it <laughs> Tyler Tazek with the foul. That's also how you know Tyler's a basketball player, because yep. basketball players never commit a foul. Like, no, never. Yeah, and he so. was looking like, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, from here I could tell you hit him in the face. So. And we are biased. Yes, yes. <laughs> Merritt, good on the first. I mean, the acting. I mean, it's good. He could sign up for acting and directing. I mean, Andy yeah, that's, help yeah shout out, shout out yeah. to Amy. <laughs> He's coming up. Stetson with the second attempt here. And he misses. Scores 8-5 to five with five minutes left to play in the first period. Santa Barbara with the ball to Watazic. Watazic gets it over to Ryan Gilber, over to Nate Oliver. In to David Filkins, quickly back out to Santa Barbara. I'm loving the ball. Drew was in. David Filkins gets it. Somebody in Troy had a hand on it. As soon as they say that, of course, that's when the ball gets kicked. Of course, of but course. Watazic takes it in and hey, gets the two. Hey, there we go. Oh, and a, a interesting call. I didn't oh, see it. Oh, guess where I, the ball's coming. Oh, boy. Matt's this is in the game already. Look at that pass. That was beautiful. That was, a, that was from beautiful. sitting down. I'm not sure point. why they're not clapping for you in the audience. Yeah, I'll I clap. Don't, I don't I'll get clap. It. I don't get it. <laughs> so turnover goes to the Dutch here. Inbound. Tyler Tazic for three. Misses. Ooh. Dave Filkins attempts to rebound. Got a handle on it, but Stetson Merritt comes up with it. It's so impressive to me that, uh, you know, the way that Dave just plays down low. Um, I mean, he's truly not that play. He's 6'1". Yeah. And he's, he's our big man. It's, it's so impressive to me. Missed basket for Troy. Turnover goes to the Dutch. To me, I feel like that is one of the epitomes of heart over height. All right, here we go. Dutch with the ball. 4.15 left to play in the first period. Oh, yeah. Cross-court pass was totally intercepted there by yeah. Troy. They could read that a mile away. Yeah, that, that's an unforced error. Yeah. I mean, there's just... 
there wasn't any sort of pressure that was really forcing that kind of a pass. And I mean, there were even other people who were open who were closer to the ball. So that turnover goes to Troy, and the ball went out of bounds. It stays with Troy. We can't tell you how much time is left on the shot clock because we don't know. We have no clue. We have no clue. Until Dr. Beanie says 10, we have no clue. Oh, inbound pass, uh, Ryan Gilbert comes up with, so turnover to the Dutch. Gilbert with the ball. Utazic to Santa Barbara. Nate Oliver in motion here. Gilbert over to Watazic again. Tazik drives, kicks it back out to David oh, Filkins, who wasn't going to take that three, but with Tazik will, misses, mm -hmm. rebound. To, I'm all about shooting when he can. Yeah, rebound to Troy. Stetson Merritt with the ball. Goes in and foul. He's going to get two shots on this. He's having a feast out there on the line he, so far He tonight. is, he is. That foul's on number 34, Nate Oliver. That's his second, team's fourth. Interesting to note, too, that Gillen's got four fouls. Troy has zero. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, Merritt has been drawing foul after he foul sure after has. foul. He sure has, which I'm sure he's used to. Uh, Merritt misses the first. So as an aside, just for folks watching at home, if uh, there is an unordinarily long gap where I'm not talking, so I'm distracted, it sounds like there was a cat. <laughs> I've heard cats twice now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yep. what is happening? Yeah, I don't. I don't middle school <laughs> yeah, children. I I middle school <laughs> children. I don't, I don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and good on the second. Yeah, thanks. somebody's got a good cat noise up there. Yeah, I, I didn't know that that was a thing I, to do. This is why I don't teach middle school, because I don't understand their humor. Yeah. yeah. All right, back in action here. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to play. Dutch with the ball. Oliver gets it to Watazic. Watazic drives, shoots it back out Ooh, to... Ooh, excellent pass. Gilbert, Gilbert goes up and gets the foul. That foul's gonna be on number three, Josiah Acevedo. Always wanna call it good sportsmanship when I see it. Yep. Jamil Taylor helping out, the opposing player. Uh, just again, one of those reminders that, yeah, there was a foul there, but it's not a personal thing. Right. We're not trying to get anyone injured. We're just trying to play the game. So Acevedo, that's his first, team's first. Gilbert at the line, misses the first. and misses the second. Rebound goes to Troy. Stetson Merritt with the ball. He'll go right over anybody, doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Ryan Gilbert gets a piece of it and is able to tip it out to Tyler Watazic. There we go, way to push oh. it. Oh, good try oh. there by Jackson Everts. Good teamwork there. Jamil Taylor again, helping both guys what out. What a nice guy. Yeah, literally, he just seems like a really if nice guy. If we give a sportsmanship award, He's yeah, got it. That's what, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that foul on um, Josiah Acevedo, that's his second, team second. That will throw Ebers to the line. Misses the first. Now, I know it's early in the game, Matt, but mm -hmm. I will tell you, JV game, if we made one free throw, I would be shocked. <laughs> It was a free throw horrible oh, night. Man. I don't want our varsity team to have that. Okay. Man, Jackson, Jackson heard good you. On the he heard you. He's like, all right, I got I you. Mean, I, got I, you I did. It took everything from me not to yell. They're free for a reason. I know. Yeah. You know, but because those that honestly is a matter of practice. And yes, we're talking about practice. Yeah. Practice, not the game, but practice. Right. Um, but honestly, yeah, because that's just about your consistency with your form. It for is. The most part. You know, and when we get into these close games. Um, that makes all the difference. At time at the end, it makes all the difference. That basket was by number 11, Legend Merritt, Stetson's older brother. Legend's a senior this year. So he's had two years to play with his brother, which is fun. Yeah. And honestly, that's something that's going to push both of them. Yeah. You know, the internal competition. Yeah. Dutch with the ball. Ooh. Jackson, under the basket, pass back out. Nice. Gets it to Atazic, misses the three, rebound to Troy. Two minutes to play. That was a nice Troy play. Troy with the so ball, yep. Good court vision by Jackson there. Vantry. Tries to go over Santa Barbara, misses. Rebound by Ebers. Ebers looking for Gilbert, oh. finds him. Miscommunication on the court. Right. 
Santa Barbara smart enough to get in bounds before he catches that ball. Yep. With Tazik for three. Misses, fall your shot. Good job. All right. <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound, Vantry to Troy. Coach Offshoe was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the double clutch, not to be. Not to be. Rebound by Santa Barbara. You know, I've been thinking about this team. Like, Oliver got for, that. For, oh, sorry, to Oliver. Sorry. I've been thinking about this team a lot, and I, what I'd love to see. I'd love to see them put Frank Kelly in and post him up and let mm -hmm. let let guys throw into him the paint and let him let all the oh, let the defense <laughs> crash him, open up the outside lane right. and let Frank just throw it back out to the right. three. Yeah, give him some of that point forward. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. Practice. Score there by Jamil Ta Taylor and he draws the foul, so he'll go the line to try to attempt a three point play here. That fouls on number two, Ryan Gilbert. That's his second, team's fifth. 50 seconds left to play in the first period. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, If I'm Gilbert, I'm a little frustrated mm -hmm. because there was clear contact. I mean, just from our angle, yep. we could see he was hit on the arms going up on that shot. Um, and maybe that's one of those areas where he, you do need to do a little bit of selling in basketball. Right. It, like flail your arms wider, um, you know, fall down. Right, right, <laughs> right. Cl kept clutch something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taylor misses the three-point play, oh. or the extra point, but it's rebound to the horses. Drive by Legend, didn't go. Fight for the rebound. I always do get a little nervous with moments like that. I'm like, all right, nobody get injured. Yeah. Number 15, Vincent Adams into the game for Troy. Ball stays with Troy. Again, we have no idea how much time's on the clock. No. But I have absolute confidence in Dr. Bean. I do too. To count. I do too. She's an elementary principal. You know she can count. I know she can count. Let's just hope that 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 uh, app she's using to do the timing helps. Right. And is correct. I imagine her. Honestly, her internal clock might be more accurate. It might be actually. <laughs> like, I'm just saying the better class that she's seen. <laughs> Vantry's attempt doesn't work. A rebound to the Dutch. Evers goes oh, in. Good gets floater. it. Ebers on the board Said tonight. Tony Parker, baby. Three, ba three point doesn't work. Rebound again to the Dutch. That <laughs> I love when they do that too. That's a savior field goal percentage. He didn't want to shoot and lower his three point percentage, so he waited till the shot clock expired, <laughs> then <Jeez>. pulled it. <laughs> uh, at the end of regulation, it is 13 for the Dutch, 10 for the Visitors. What do you see so far, Matt? That you like? So one, I think that we're doing a really, really good job of some off-ball movement and also getting the ball and, and keeping it moving. So Troy has, especially in the second half of that quarter, they picked up their defensive effort and they were playing some stifling defense. But because of our continued ball movement, that's why right now the score is 13-10 and we were able to come away with the lead after that first period. Now what I think is going to be important is for us to keep that foot on the gas offensively because historically later in the game is where we actually start to run out of gas entirely as a team in so many different ways. We do, we do. Now on the defensive end, the thing that concerns me is really the foul trouble. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, Merritt has just been able to absolutely take advantage of that. So the number of free throws he's had, he's having his way and just drawing contact whenever he wants, as he wants, and he's getting off a ton of shots. So we're lucky that a lot of shots haven't fallen for Troy so far. So defensively, there are still some gaps in there, and I think um, being able to guard more with our feet and our bodies than just our hands. Yeah, and at this point in the game, too, we typically have Nico in a little bit of foul trouble, or at mm -hmm. least with a foul. Yeah. So the fact that he doesn't have one yet is a good sign right. for us. Um, we're used to him playing hard. We're used to him drawing fouls. Right. That just is, is when you play hard, that happens. So Well, I think for us to win, too, we got to get him involved more in yep. the, the offense end. So Tyler Rotagas has been doing what he needs to do. And, you know, Nico is our second leading scorer, and right now he's scoreless this game. Right. So uh, I'm assuming that that's going to change before the end of the half. Absolutely. But he's got to see some go through gets confidence up. Absolutely. Dutch with the ball to start the second half. Ebers to Watazic. Watazic gets it over to Oliver. Oliver gets it to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara goes inside, kicks it back out to Gilbert. A little too hard. Gilbert couldn't handle it. Turnover to Troy. Good in thought, a little too high. Right, right. And those things happen. Like, that's one of those ones where, you, it, like, for both of those players, it's going to be frustrating. But you got to just roll that off your back, get back on yep. defense, and, yep. and focus. Vantry. Uh-oh. Speaking of fouls, I think that was, yeah. 
Yeah. Was that on the three-point line, though? Yeah. Well, Sugar. I, I think it was. And I'm pretty sure that was with Tazik. He came behind him he, trying he, to help contest. But he closed out a little bit too much. Yep. There was contact. Yep. Is he seeing two or three? I can't read his fingers from no, here. No, yeah, because <laughs> her parallel <up>. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Vantry's at the line. Misses. Um, yeah, it was hard to tell if he was on the three-point line when he shot that because yeah. the ref's hand went up, but I couldn't tell, well, was it going up for a three or was right. it going up for the foul? I couldn't, right. couldn't, couldn't quite tell. It looks like he's having one more shot. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm in favor of, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And misses, so yeah, that, that was a two shot. Okay. Rebound to the Dutch. Santa Barbara. With the pressure from Behan. Oh, nice pass, Oliver, inside to Watazic, and Excellent. gets it. I'm really, really pleased with the way that Watazic's been playing this season. And really that, like, he's being insistent on chasing his buckets, going after them. And yep. when you're a scorer, you gotta, you got to score. You Me have too. to. You I know, know that sounds obvious, but truly, that's a way that, like, you keep the defense honest. Yep. That's you doing your role. Merritt, with the ball, decides to take it. Misses. Rebound to Ryan Gilbert. Gets it to Oliver. Oliver brings it down court. Gets it to Watazic. Watazic to Gilbert. Over to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara heavy, heavily guarded tonight. Mm -hmm. Is he out of oh, oh travel. a travel. Okay. There was a mass of bodies from my angle. I couldn't really see what was happening. Um, we're getting some on-court coaching by <laughs> from Troy right now. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are like, Yaga, you got to get back to the back. I mean, he was at the three-point line. That, that is typically a Troy thing, though. Like, yeah. I can remember, even the JV game, they were like, uh, get, get back in your box. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Avantry with the ball for Troy. Six minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the second period. Stetson, Merritt, misses. Good Rebound board. to Ebers, came in and grabbed it. Tyler with Tazix chases ring. it down. Gets it to Oliver, back to Gilbert. Wotazic for three, misses, uh, over and back. over the back is automatically a turnover to the other team. Yeah. So Troy's going to get this. Score is 15 to 10 in favor of your Dutch. 6-13 left to play. I believe the cats have left the building <laughs> or left the gym. <laughs> the first I'm, heard I'm so glad you didn't meow at them because I was like, ooh, that's going to egg them on a no, little bit. No, I was... I was <laughs> And I was like, Matt's gonna egg them on. <laughs> I know this. Uh, oh, nice <laughs> shot there by number what's well, twenty-three, Behan. It was off balance. Pulls the horses within three. Dutch with the ball. Santa Barbara gets it to Ebers. Ebers into Watazic. Watazic with hey. two. I love the way he played that possession. You know, I'm so glad they're they're doing some layups too because we are not a team that really does layups. And no. layups are so underrated. Like they are your bread and butter and right. we work we work so hard on the three-point line, which I'm not disagreeing with to to some extent, but let's get back to some of the fundamentals. Well, I think part of the problem with the three Nice is rebound. That was impressive. Hey, all right. You've been, you've been way above his size. That was with three purple jerseys surrounding. That was impressive. Hey, there we go, Nico. Yeah. And now even he's with a little flare. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and I, I couldn't agree more with you. I think the three, you know, when you're shooting it at a 40% clip, it's the most efficient way to score in the mm -hmm. game. But the problem is, and this is not a knock on our guys. Truly, it's not. Right. Uh, but no one's shooting it at that high of a clip. So I think, you know, um, when we are able to get inside and we're able to get those good looks, such as we're seeing right now in the replay yeah. with Tazik was able to get inside. Our last couple buckets all were inside. Right. We had Oliver going to work inside, was able to draw three jerseys, kicked that ball out, which ultimately ended up shifting Troy's defense, which allowed for uh, Santa Barbara to which be able to get inside. Which is what I want them to do with Frank, right? right? Did I say that? You did. You I did. did. I, I did. And I, I think, yeah, I would like to see him get in too. I mean, his size is just unbelievable yeah, to me. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. I'd love for us to use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, 4.58 left to play. Scores 19 to 12 in favor of the Dutch. Troy's going to have the ball here. Behan going to inbound here to Merritt. Merritt. 
Merritt passes it to Taylor. Oh, good oh. anticipation. Yeah, Sarah Axel Harbor Steel. read that pass and grabbed it. Yep. Goes in for the layup and gets it and gets the block. Ah, uh, yeah, his team's hyping him up right now. He's, oh, he's feeling himself. Yeah. But this is exactly what I was talking about, though. Yep. Once you have a player like him who starts to get going, yep. that's back-to-back -back buckets. Buckets, he's feeling confident. He's going to be yep. more involved. And, and well, now and that's another person. And we that need a confident Nico, yeah, as you said. You do. That fouls on number 15, Vincent Adams. That's his first team's first of the quarter. Santa Barbara misses the basket and the three-point play there. But as you said, scored two already in this quarter. So In the span of a minute and a half. Yeah. But... And so this is the thing, too, that engagement on the defensive end. And, and this is something that's really, really important um, just about the psychology of basketball. When you start playing well on one end, it galvanizes you to play well on the other end, right, too. Right, right. That foul was by Nico Santa Barbara, right. which we knew was going to come. Right. Because, well, it, it, I don't even view that necessarily as a bad thing. That's just him being really invested right. in wanting right. to do a lot. Yeah, and we saw it. We got pumped up. He got into he the did. game. We get more intense, right. and then we know that's going to happen. Absolutely. Right. That's his first team second of the quarter. Ball goes to Troy. And there it is with the steal. Yep. Nice. Oliver protects it and gets it out to Ryan Gilbert. Ooh. Troy almost successful on that steal. Yeah, I think um, Gilbert was, uh, he was thinking he was trying to pull a little Kyrie right there. Kind of, yep. Ball stays with the Dutch. Uh, no idea what the time is on the clock, but stays with the Dutch. Got four minutes, 15 seconds on our on our main clock here. Mm. Ooh. Mm, what did create that ball? Uh, I get so I get so excited when I see that. I'm like, all right, go up strong. Yeah, and he did. Yeah, Just he did. Didn't, didn't get a bucket there. No, and honestly, that's one of the ones. It's annoying as a player. But you live with that. For right, real, as right. Gilbert's like, killing it on the oh, on the defensive boards tonight. It's what we start off the game saying. He knows one speed, yep. and it's full speed. Ebers gets oh, it out pass. to Santa Barbara, who got a look and didn't take it. Yep, because he wanted a better it look. Again. He wanted a better look. Got He's it! He's going to have a good look, but what Tyler's is about to get me that dime. Yeah. Santa Barbara for three. And just like that, the score is doubled, 24 to 12. What a great way. Three and a half in the minutes. second quarter. Santa here. Barbara with seven points. Literally, right now we have a twelve point. Merritt lead. goes through three of them, almost gets the basket. You know, even to that point, th and this is what I was trying to get at with saying when you have scores doing. And I'm, I'm not knocking. What I'm saying when you have scores who are doing their job, keeping everyone, you know, honest. I think that that is so important. It's so key because now it stretches the defense out they have to focus on multiple people you have Watazic who's nearly double digits then you have Santa Barbara who's another three from double digits yep. that um, best that foul was on Ryan Gilbert that's his third so Alex Dorigo in the game to replace him Stetson Merritt's at the line shooting two he makes the first one And he makes the second. Those are Stetson's first points of the second mm -hmm. quarter, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is kudos to Gildalyn in oh, yeah. making sure he's not scoring. Santa Barbara with the ball. To Watazic, over to Dorigo. Oh, you got to Back to Oliver, shot. got a brand wide open look. Misses, rebound Ebers. Ebers to Santa Barbara. Reset here on the offense. Over to Dorigo. Over to Watazic, comes in, loses the ball underneath the yeah, basket. Right here, Turnover. Yeah. Yeah, let me just get that real quick. <laughs> Turnover <laughs> to Troy. Yep. So, you know. Twice the one game. I got to just say that the ref also acknowledged me. He said, thank you. <laughs> so, when when you know talent, it's just, it's like. Yeah, it, it's, it's almost like he should have said, me. thank you. You look like an amazing <laughs> basketball <laughs> Why player. Why aren't you on the court? Right, right. That basket by, was by Stetson Merritt. Timeout <laughs> on, the, on the court. 24 to 16. 16. So four-point swing right there for Troy in the last Yeah, very seconds. fast. So Coach mm -hmm. Parks wants to stop that immediately. Wait, that's a wise time to stop. Yeah, it, it's a great use of a timeout, absolutely. What, great uh, visual crew here doing their video crew, getting some shots and running these replays for us. You know, that is one thing that I love over the course of the season when you see, because there's, there's been uh, new folks added 
each uh, each season, <clears throat> and then seeing the chemistry build up amongst mm -hmm. the team, it becomes so automatic. Some of the yeah, things they're yeah. doing, and and obviously it's always great having Christian uh, on the team as yeah, well, and yeah. just doing a fantastic job. It's fun. I mean, look at these close shots of the teams. They're great. Absolutely great. I do see some young kids in the audience tonight, Matt. So, like, some some um, Christ the King, it looks like, CIO yeah. players. So, yeah. I think we might have a little treat at halftime, but I'm not sure. No one's confirmed that with me. That would definitely be enjoyable. Ebers with the ball and gets a foul on tr from Troy. Pushing foul. That goes to number 12. Stetson Merritt, that's his first team second. Ball's going to stay with the Dutch. So, stay with me with this. Do you feel that Jackson Ebers kind of gives off the same vibes as Gilbert in terms of energy yeah, on the court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely has energy on the court, 100%. That's a steal by number one, Vantry there. Goes in for the layup and gets it. I think both of them undersized. They end up getting an inordinate amount of rebounds for their size. You know, They um, definitely play up, for yeah. sure. For sure. All right, Santa Barbara trying to set something up for the Dutch here. Want to secure the lead that they have going into the half right. for sure. Ebers gets in trouble, gets the blocking foul. This is a three count. <laughs> if only, man. If only. And the NBA is in continuation of things. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, the foul's on number 11, a legend Merritt. That's his first team's third. Fouls are three and three, so pretty even for the second yeah. quarter, which is good. That's a significant improvement. Yep. Oliver to Watazic, Watazic over to Dorigo, kicks it to the corner where Ebers is. Back to Santa Barbara. Oliver, back to Ebers. Moving it around the key. To Oliver thought about it, gets it to Santa Barbara. Bang! Yeah, three! And just like that. <laughs> That's two threes for Santa Barbara tonight. Still Taylor, oh, Watazic's ahead. Foul was first, but yeah. Watazic was like, get that out of yeah, here. Yeah, we're not, we're not having an and one. Yeah, no, doing? no. Love to see that. That was great. Foul's on number 33. That's Tyler Watazic. That's his third. He'll get. He'll get uh, replaced here by David Filkins. At the line, Stetson Merritt, good on the first. Filkins back in, Tyler takes the seat. Elijah's being told to grab the fork, so. Merritt. <laughs> it's better than me. Than me. <laughs> I roll my eyes, and you're just laughing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> middle schoolers. See, I, oh. yeah, I, I find fun at every level. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dutch with the ball. Santa Barbara gets to Oliver over oh, to Ebers. Yep, yep. Ebers double teamed, tries to get it, Santa Barbara. Troy had it, that was a good call in my mind. Yeah, I think so too. Troy had the ball and went out of bounds, so yeah. Oh, other ref didn't agree. So that's gonna change. I thought it was a good call. Yeah, you know, but those are the things where I think it's um, uh, it's also important to wait for the rest before. Yeah. Merritt misses. Rebound. David Filkins gets it out to Santa Barbara quickly, brings it down the court, gets it to Nate Oliver. That was his sweet spot before, but mm -hmm. Ebers. Oh. Whew. That's all right, though. That is okay. Uh, a little excited there. Overshot, rebound to Troy Merritt, oh, trying to pull on. the no, NBA was, moves. Okay, now that was, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of nice. I was like, ah, <laughs> he's making a fan. A, yeah, kind of, well, you were a fan last year. You I know, that's what I'm saying. He was an eighth grader, we <laughs> loved him. Yeah, I was like, woo. Dorigo gets it to Evers for three, misses. Oh, oh, Santa Barbara comes out of nowhere to rebound. Was out of bounds though, so turnover to Troy. 37 seconds left on the clock before half here. Vantry gets it to Merritt. Merritt walking it slowly down the court, mm -hmm. guarded by Oliver. Okay. 
So he's got, oh. You know, one of the things that makes him so oh. good, travel right there. Yep. But the thing that makes him good and hard to defend is typically if you are looking at a right-handed player, you want to shade them left. And just for folks watching home shade, you basically want to try to force them to right. dribble with their left hand towards the basket. He intentionally went with his left hand towards the basket, so he's not really necessarily bothered by right, that. Right, right. Um, and especially as he gets older and hones his craft a bit more, that won't be a travel next time. Ten seconds left to play. Got to get a good shot off. Four, three, two. Um, Dr. Beatty. All right. Not, oh, oh shut, shut, okay. That's the end of regulation. We've got 27 for Gilderland and 24 Troy. We will be back at the end of the half. Enjoy.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's recap for you what we've seen so far in the first half. We've got for, for uh, scoring and fouls for the horses, Travante Vantry with two. We've got Josiah Acevedo with two fouls. Uh, Legend Merritt has one foul and two points. Stetson Merritt has one foul and 12 points. Vincent Adams has one foul. Jamil Taylor has two points, and Kane Behan has two. For the Dutch, Nico Santa Barbara with 10 points and one foul. Ryan Gilbert with four points and three fouls. Jackson Ebers, two points. Uh, David Filkins, two points. Tyler Wataszek, nine points and three fouls. Nate Oliver, two points. And that's our scoring roundup. So 27 to 20 in favor of the Dutch. Matt, what do you hope to see? So something that we did a much better job of second quarter, um, we talked about as a goal, was keeping those fouls in control. We had four fouls in the first two and a half minutes um, in the first quarter, and then we were able to kind of keep pace with Troy. If we're able to at least keep pace, that's going to be good. What's going to be really essential, right now we have a seven-point lead. Ideally, we'd like to keep that minimum of five-point lead, two, possess two solid possessions um, going into the fourth quarter. Really, ideally, we want it to be, though, a ten-point lead. Um, just to give us a little bit of cushioning. And we saw that Troy was able to score in a lot in a hurry. They scored six points in about a minute and a half, so um, we want to make sure that we're able to stop that progression. Troy with the ball, shot by Vantry, no good. Rebound to Nico Santa Barbara to start the half. Shout out to Vantry's footwork, though. That was a good looking that shot. That was a good looking shot. Gilbert gets it out to oh, Atazic on three, misses. Rebound to Troy. Stetson Merritt with the ball. Misses, rebound. Number 15, Adams misses. Oh, what a block. A great block. Uh. Oh, David Filkin says, I'm 6'1", but I'm not the one. Don't try me. <laughs> Hope you enjoy listening to that, David. I'm trying to hype you up. <laughs> 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 that foul is on number two, Ryan Gilbert. That's his fourth. That yes. is trouble. That, yeah, that is. Uh, Eberts will come in for him. That is definite trouble for us. Fortunately, Eberts, someone he's not quite as tall, but he does play with the same kind of energy and mentality. Um, and what was that? I, that might have been a reach. Can't see. It that looked was called on number fourteen. Yeah, it was Jackson. It was a reach. Yes, I. Yeah, I saw his, his hand first go out. team second. The irony, I wasn't talking about when I said they play with the same energy that you yeah, foul yeah. that fast, but they do play with the same kind of energy. Troy again with the ball. Oh, man. Misses, comes same down, team. same team, yep, comes down. Uh, Nico Santa Barbara comes down with a the rebound there. Oh, yeah, they're not. They need not to talk. They're, they're not communicating at all. Yep. That's the third collision in this game. Yep, yep. Utazic, top of the key, gets it to Filkins. Filkins to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara over to Oliver. Oliver trying to break that pressure, doesn't get it to Utazic. Three, two. Oh. Hey, hey, all right. I'll take that. I'll take it too because right. it wasn't called a double dribble, which right. I was Nate. expecting. So, I okay. think it's because he hit it. So okay. Someone hit it in the air. Okay. That's why he landed. All right. Fine. Oliver with the bucket. That's his first of the night. That's oh. Troy having trouble getting the ball in the basket, but they're getting the rebound each time, and Eberts is going to be called for that again. Nico's begging, begging for a different call. He gets fired up. He does get fired up. The ref is like, sit down, buddy. Now, so I, that, that, I'm not even knocking you, Nico. I get fired yeah, up, Yeah, I love so. it. I love it. <laughs> but the ref's like, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Number 14, Jackson Ebers with that foul. That's his second team's third of the quarter. That sends Troy to the line. See, in my head, every time you're saying Troy, I'm thinking Troy Bershwinger. Oh, and he's and here in the stands tonight. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. so that, that first shot by Adams was not good. He'll get a second shot here. The cats are back. <laughs> Sorry. And he gets it. <laughs> I just <laughs> yeah, Troy Bursch, we've got quite a few alums in the stands tonight. Yeah. Kapazinski's over there. Mitch is over there. Oliver to Ebers. Ebers 
Ooh, gets it to Watazic. Watazic gets it cross court, almost intercepted there. Santa Barbara. Oh, and that's turnover. That was Somebody there. got their hand on it and knocked it out. So. Yeah, there's a timeout. Yeah, we gotta settle them down. Right. Troy's within eight. You gotta settle them down here and help them refocus for sure. Ultimately, in the past two minutes, we added one point to our lead. But you know, if guys are starting to get restless and frustrated, then you know. You yeah, know, this sure. timeout is definitely not about the points. Definitely no. not. This is a settle down. We're throwing right. things away. We're collisioning. Exactly. We're not talking. Yeah. You know, we gotta we gotta get back into the groove that we had for the first half right. because we're not playing it right now. Right. It's play that's unnecessarily you know sloppy. Yeah. Um. With that being said, one of the things that I'd be interested to see, and um, I'm not at all suggesting that they should do this, but what would it look like to, you know, attack Setson Mayer on the defensive end and, like, kind of force him to be in more of the defensive action, keep the ball. I haven't paid too much attention to his defensive prowess, but just keeping him exhausted, making him be engaged on both ends of the ball and keeping him out, uh, you know, just tired out so he's not able to dominate the offensive end as much. Yeah. Adams with the ball, gets it to Vantry. Over to Merritt, who gets it oh. to Taylor, who scores a bucket. Because of his sportsmanship, I'm not even mad. I like Taylor. Yep, yep. Santa Barbara and Ebers getting it across the line here. Gets it to Filkins, who gets it to Oliver. Back to Santa Barbara. Quickly moving it from Matazic to Ebers right around the key here. Just got the 10 second warning. Gotta get something going. Ebers under the basket, goes up with it, oh, misses. Last time it worked out. Rebound by Merritt. Oh, yep, there it is, the attack. You know, Troy's only win this year was against Albany, which is a team that annihilated us. Yeah, which is, that's very interesting. Yeah. Diving on Love the board. That. Oh, ball and comes out Nico for Gildland. Good. And there's Nico with that hustle again. Oliver, or Filkin, sorry, with the ball. Gets it to Watazic. Ebers over to Oliver. Ten second warning again. Hey. Santa Barbara goes in with some That's fancy moves. Yeah, I like the Ebers girl. collision there in the air. Mm -hmm. That was with Vantry, that collision. That's going to be his first foul. Team's first of the quarter. Ebers to Filkins. Filkins gets it to a wide open oh. with Tazik, bumbles it a little bit, but saves yeah. it. Over to oh, Oliver. Oh. Misses, rebound, Ebers. So, he plays with a lot of energy. He gets so many. Tazik wide open. Shoots it out Perfect. to Santa Barbara. Perfect pass. Three. That Money. is the definition of good to better and making something happen. Love Stetson to see it. Stetson Merritt with the ball. Guarded by Oliver. Gets it to Taylor. Over to Adams. Stetson for three. Misses. Rebound with Tazik. Vantry's there, and Watazic gets it to Santa Barbara. Coach Park saying, settle down your offense. Three minutes, 18 seconds left to play in this quarter. Ebers to Watazic, over to Oliver. To Santa Barbara. Oh. Missed the three-point attempt. Rebound by Troy, but taken away by Watazic. Oh. Tries to get it out, yeah. misses to getting it to Santa Barbara. Taylor comes down with it, misses a layup. Again. Wow, way to keep possession. T Tyler with Tazic with the ball. Wow, wow, wow. Wow! Hey. <laughs> Beautiful basket. Taylor, last one to touch the ball, out of bounds on him. Turnover to the Dutch. Dutch have a little energy and pep in their step with that with that uh, yeah. possession there. 
And I mean, and there's been some great defense. Guys going vertical the last two possessions. Oh, beautiful. Oliver gets it to Watazic. Watazic going down. Oliver to Filkins. Ebers to Watazic. Santa Barbara to Ebers. Ebers got to look at it, didn't take it. Gets it to Filkins. Filkins goes inside, misses. Rebound to Vantry. Troy coming down. Legend put his head down and was yep. going in, whether it's oh, going to yeah. go in or not. He's driving. Well, he was frustrated at that last yep. play, not getting a call. So he was yep. like, all right, no, I'm going to make yep. sure the I'll contact put, is clear. Yep, I'll put my head down. That, that uh, foul is on Nico Santa Barbara. That's his second. Team's fourth. Throws Legend Merritt to the line. Now, we've talked a lot about Stetson, you know, how prolific he is of a score. And, I mean, that's been very self-evident. But Legend is no slouch. He's on 122 he, points on the season coming into this yeah, game. He's not. Outscoring everyone on our team but Tyler Rotasic. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, those brothers, they really, it's a dynamic duo. They really do. And he's been pretty, he's scored two, one basket tonight. He's got two points. So, to keep him that low on scoring is pretty unheard of. Right. You know, Stetson gets all the accolades because he is so prolific, but and young uh but yeah like you said legend's a good player he's a legend yeah i i've been waiting I knew. for a moment i knew the I second knew. he hit a three i was waiting for him to euro uh, something yeah yeah i knew i knew it was coming <laughs> so i thought i'd beat you to the punch there <laughs> if something could be said you, yeah yeah <laughs> Now, that's he's also got to be tired he's you know he hasn't I'm come just, out at all no Filkins, quick dish oh, to Santa Barbara. Excellent, excellent. This is Who's money on the line tonight? Yeah, Santa Barbara. That's his fourth three. Stetson oh, Merritt trash. with the ball. He's talking trash right now. He's saying you can't guard me. He actually really is talking trash. Right now. That's got a lot. Stetson, Minnesota. air ball. If we had a student section, we'd hear the air ball chant here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Santa Barbara. Wittasek takes it in, misses, rebound for his own shot there. Dishes to Santa Barbara, oh. gets it out to Ebers. Excellent, fine. Three. Oh, and there we go. The crowd does erupt on that one. All right. Got to love having parents in the stands. I know. <laughs> yeah. They're making up for the lack of a Red Sea. The parents are. They really are. Parents and our alums. We've yes, got to yeah, give them some alum. credit. Absolutely, the alums. Because our alums are in the stands tonight. And they... They show up pretty faithfully. The Lum really do. And we do have a little bit of a student section. I can see um, Caden Fiscaletti up there. I can see Jack Hodorowski. Like, we've got some some play. Uh, uh, I see Antonio up there. So we've we've got some of yeah. our, our kids. It looks like a lot of football players, actually, and wrestlers. Yeah. So um, it is nice to have a few. They're just not sitting in the Red Sea section. They're too right. cool for that. <laughs> 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 but we see you. We see you, and we appreciate that you're here. Absolutely, as do the players. I mean, after that last play, uh, Nico giving the you know dropping the dime for uh, Ebert, he looked right over to the crowd and gave them the uh, Maximus. Are you not entertained? You know. Yep. That seven point lead, by the way, and I hope I'm not speaking too soon, has blossomed <laughs> into a seven or yeah, seventeen point lead. A minute so. four left to play in the quarter. Scores forty to twenty three in favor of your Dutch. Yeah, I'm, I'm just reticent. The Warriors last, uh, not last night, two nights ago, were up uh, double digits with five minutes to go and then lost the game off the of Jokic half-court three. Yeah. So I don't want to get too <laughs> excited. I'm like, there's more than probably <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Well, and we've been burned before. Yeah, we so have So we've got to be careful there, yeah. More Four, than Fourth once. quarter is not our friend. So, yeah. all right. But, <laughs> but it will be today. It will be today. Vantry inbounds it to Taylor. Uh, no, sorry, to Behan. Stetson's actually sitting, and this is the first time in the game this that is, I've it's noted. This shocking. Yes, yeah, this is the first time that I've noticed as well. I think it's to get him ready for that fourth quarter because, They need you know, him. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning here. Ooh. Ooh. That's a Friday after break yawn. It oh. is. Ebert's again with the rebound. I'm it telling is. you. Dutch. We notice these things. We see them. 34 seconds. Oliver. Gets it to Watazic. Ebers is fighting hard down there against Acevedo. Mm. 
Got the 10 second warning here by Dr. Beanie. Santa Barbara was gonna take it, decided not to. to. Oh, passes into Filkins, tries to get it out to Atazic, does not. Turnover to Troy. Two, one. Troy goes for the long pass, doesn't go hey. in. All right, this is our time to give a shout out to uh, Dave Austin. He Dave Austin that ball. touched the ball. Yeah. All right, so at the end of three, it's your Dutch 40, Troy Horses 23. 17 point game, this is going uh, a really, really, really nice way for the Dutch. So um, I can't believe I actually lowballed them. I said it'd be ideal to go in with a 10 point lead and they said, um, they said yeah, are well, you kidding me? That's it? They're like, oh, you mean gain 10 more points yeah, to yeah, our yeah. lead. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes, that's, like, that's exactly what I meant. like, we don't play that way. <laughs> no, I'd love to see it. But I, but I do think that, um, yeah, Stitzman was sitting for that little bit because he did look tired yeah. um, over the course of the last quarter. And um, obviously, we joke when we say that the players hear us or the coaches hear us. <laughs> but truly, they did start attacking the side of the court that Stetson was on more. And he was, I was watching him on the defensive end, and he was running a ton defensively, which translated into some of the shots he took. He was tired when he got in the offense, when he was pulling up for three, when he was driving. It, he just didn't have that same, um, like, oomph in his step. And there it is. Look, Finally, like, they've got a 50-50 winner, it looks like. They've been calling the number yeah, for a whole period here. Yeah. Finally. I was like, who's this guy walking across the court? But apparently, <laughs> if you're the 50-50 winner, you can walk you could across do that, the yeah. court. You get you get walk off, uh, across 50% of the court. Look at you walk across the court, you get some cold, hard cash. Good for him. Hey, that is nice. Good for him. Do you want to share with us? Yeah, right? <laughs> we don't get paid. We don't share. <laughs> I I, honestly, honestly, I'll take the payment Brenna was uh, just choosing to give me last year. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I'm just saying this on the air, I do still owe Brenna that meal. So <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. And well, he'll owe for you. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, that's, that's right. a debt. We've got eight <laughs> minutes left to go. That doesn't count against my credit score. <laughs> <laughs> Troy with the ball. Missed basket, rebound, Filkins. Interesting that Stetson's still not back in. Yeah, I wonder if coaches viewing this as time to develop other players, but then I see, you know, Travante Vantry, who has, by the way, when uh, Nico was not scoring beginning, yeah. Vantry's an excellent defender. Yeah. He's Van really been locking Van the gap. Oh! That's Van an amazing Vantry shot. Vantry and Taylor stayed in. Yeah, that was yeah. an amazing shot by Tyler Wittazic. You know, nice Tyler, Tyler had an outstanding eighth grade year, and so did Stetson, so they're really matched um, yes. age-wise, so it's yes. interesting to see them go up together. That was, I'm not sure what happened there. Timeout? Uh, yes, 30 second timeout, okay. That was a score by Vantry there at that timeout. I wasn't sure, the way he held up his fist, I thought it was a foul call, so I yeah. missed that. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's really cool, though, seeing Wataslik, you know, in his sophomore year, he's able to now finish around the rim with either hand, which is huge. Yep. And that's not yep. the first left-handed attempt yep. he's taken this game. So yep. he's um, he's able to finish either way, and obviously his shot has really become a staple for him in right. terms of his sourcing of points. Right. Yeah, I said earlier the same age. I didn't mean the same age. No, 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 same, I know what you meant. You know yeah. what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second no, year of varsity. Yes, yeah, they're both young players. They're both young players. They're young players, are, and yeah. They're playing above their age. Yes, 100%. And it's kind of been fun to watch. Like we saw Stetson last year, and we yes. we, we you know ogled like crazy about it. Yeah, and we yeah. were pretty impressed with him, as we were with Tyler. So right, right, it's fun right. to see them again one year under their belt. Gilliland with the ball, heavy press here from Troy, but they break it. Ebers gets it to Filkins. Oliver wants it. Filkins is trying to find someone open. Gets it to Oliver. Quickly to Santa Barbara. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this early. I'm investing early. The fourth quarter thing's not gonna happen today. They sense a win. They they want this win so badly. You can tell they want it. After going 0 and 8, they're not losing this game. Yeah, double dribble called. That's a call we don't see very often. Right. Turnover goes to Troy. Yeah, no, they're they're not losing this game. Nope. Six minutes, 46 seconds left to play in regulation. 42, 25, still in favor of the Dutch. Acevedo gets it into Taylor who draws the foul. That's 
Well, I mean, David was just standing there. It's yeah, he, he, he's he's frustrated. He's feeling, you know, hey, there's there's, yeah. there's some floppage going on. Yeah, that's da that's but, David's first foul of the yeah. game. Team's first of the of the period. But I'll, I'll say too, to that point, there that's a matter of being able to position your body well. And like honestly, I, I think that Taylor did a good job of creating where the contact was. He wrapped his arms. Taylor, good on the first. That's such a great camera angle, too, that, that our crew is getting. Oh, yeah, no, this camera crew has been phenomenal. Like, it, I mean, I know we said it earlier, but, like, truly they're doing a great job. And, you know, Leah is doing a fantastic job, even coordinating with the replays and all this other stuff. This has been, yeah. Yeah. Amy and Christian have built yeah. something really spectacular. Got the A-team on duty tonight. Uh -huh. Ooh, steal. Uh, steal. And a quick bucket there for Acevedo. Troy's bench is getting galvanized, and Coach Parks noticed that. Yep. So that becomes an immediate stoppage, the lead down to 13. Yep. Legends hanging back there, not totally fully in the, the huddle. No, I think he's frustrated. He's had a very quiet 19. Yeah, he really has. And, you know, I, meant, I used the term earlier, the psychology of basketball, but really so much of it does have to do with, like, the way that you're performing, the way that your teammates are going. Like, in basketball, it's a game of runs. So, you know, your team going on a four-point run, it's like, oh, we're still down 13, so they should still be deflated. No, you just, like, hey, we scored. Foul, steal, points. Gildren starts to now start thinking about things uh, a little bit more intensely where they were just playing instinctively before. And Troy now starts to feel like, hey, we have a bunch of time. We can come back. So, you know, I think for uh, for Legend, I'm sure he's frustrated too that he's not on the floor right now. Oh, um, 100%. The boys like to play. They want to be in. Of course. I mean, and, and like you pointed out, this is his senior year, so yeah. he wants to get as many minutes as he can. But at the same time, um, Coach Pelletier, you know, things are happening right now, uh, and, and this lineup is working for Troy. That being said, the game is working for the Dutch, and let's see how they break this press, which has been a problem. The, yeah, and Troy's putting it on, and the press is trouble. So here we go. Hands all over yeah. Ebers. You know you're going to get a foul there. That one, so. Behan doesn't he, like it, but. So similar to what I said with Philkins, Behan, his hands were in the wrong place. Yeah. That was a matter of defense. Yeah. So, and that was, yeah, the foul wasn't Behan. Okay, that's, I thought so, because I'm like, no, that was. Oh, behan. yeah, totally. I was like, if they don't call him Behan, I don't know. So, yeah, that's foul on Behan, his first teams first again double teamed gets it out to Oliver Oliver quickly to Santa Barbara Santa Barbara moves it over to Ebers Ebers to Watazic to I Oliver like, I like that Gildren's controlling the pace yes I really like that instead of them just forcing a shot once they had one Watazic to Ebers so Oliver, for there we two. go. There we go. See, that's exactly the kind of play that they need. Oh, what happened? Oh, tying tying shoe. Shoe okay, tie. Yeah, yeah. Shoe tie. Okay. But but you know that's the exact kind of play that we need. We were able to get a good amount of time off the clock, bring it below six minutes, and then get a bucket off of it, increasing yeah. the lead back up to 15. That's perfect. Yeah. 5:55 left to play in the fourth period. 44-29. Possession arrow. Well, look at it. Honestly, I almost feel like they're the nice guys of the team. Phil and, and Taylor, they're like sitting there laughing yep. with each other and like, you know, <laughs> seeing who's arms go higher. No, no, I was completely vertical. <laughs> Possession arrow favors the Dutch, but the ball is in Troy's hands at the moment. Behan gets it to oh, Vantry, but gets it. Oh! oh gets it out. Three oh. point basket there for Behan. That's a big shot. That is a big shot. Evers gets the pressure, gets it out yep. to Oliver. Oh. Foul there from Acevedo. That's Acevedo's third, team second. So something that I noted, Gildon broke the press exact. Well, they were going to before um, uh, you know Oliver hit the deck. But they were about to break the press the exact same way. Pass out to Everts. The double team comes, pass back to, oh, well, let me not say this, actually, for because other teams do watch. But yeah. I don't know if they broke it. So. <laughs> That's a walk through. <laughs> Someone on Troy's bench is watching, like, ah, okay. <laughs> we've, oh. we've done that before, right? We have. Oliver, Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, it's close to stripped. Oh. Oh. 
I think I just got a triple double. I think you did. Wow, and nobody's appreciative of that. <laughs> You're except, clapping, you don't hear the mic. You. <laughs> except you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that turnover went to Troy. Santa Barbara trying to steal it back, just goes out of bounds. I'm not going to lie, though, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. That wasn't my best pass. <laughs> It was, you know, I, I was like a little bit over to the right. Okay, back to the game, Matt. Oh, back oh, yeah. Oh, the players. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Troy with the ball. <laughs> hey, that was an athletic Acevedo move. Acevedo tries to get it in there. Had a nice move, but didn't didn't get the bucket. Right. With Tazic. It's Ryan Gilbert's back in the game to Eberts. It makes sense. Yep. Santa Barbara to Ryan Gilbert. Gilbert playing with four fouls here. With Tazic over to Santa Barbara. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if we yeah. go on to take advantage of the mismatch that he yep, has. Right yep, now yep, there's a total mismatch. Oliver hey, goes Oliver. in for two. It's been a good all around game for Santa Barbara, yeah, for Oliver, for yeah. Tazic. Vantry with the ball. Gets it to Ceresia. Acevedo misses the three. Gilbert tries to get it, doesn't get it. That was by Taylor, that two points. Ebers gets it to Gilbert quickly to Santa Barbara. Yep. Santa Barbara to Ebers to Tazic. Cross court, Oliver. Santa Barbara back to Oliver. Yep. At this point, it's a matter of it's slowing it down. Yeah. Yep. Gilbert goes in and gets the two. This might be the first game this season, at least that we've seen five Dutchmen with five or more points. Yeah, yeah. With Tazic to Gilbert. Over to Tazic, who's wide open. But they have been told not to shoot. Right. I mean, it makes sense. There's not a, an urgency for them right. to just pull up. With Tazic, beautiful spin move and gets the bucket. Acevedo and timeout to Troy. Three minutes, 36 seconds left to play. Your score is 50 to 34. I don't know what the timeout situation is, but that's a full timeout called by Troy's bench. I, I think it's a matter of, okay, hey, so if we're going to win this game from Troy's perspective, like, it has to happen now. And we can't allow them to have another 20 to 30 second possession. Uh, now, from the Dutch point of view, they're doing a great job managing uh, the clock. They're doing a great job not rushing things. But also, if you see an easy basket, there's no reason to not score. And that's why the lead, you know, those last three baskets, they're keeping the lead in a healthy spot. So the question is, is Troy thinking we're going to win it right now? Because i got to be honest with you, Matt, if they don't have Stetson in there, I don't know. I, I don't know how they're thinking that. I mean, I, know. I, I, know, I know coaches like to play with different lineups and try to, you know, no, but it, juice people up no, and things. But if you, if you don't have Stetson on the floor, I'm sorry, you're not winning the game. I, I am very much in agreement with you when you have someone who, like, you, your number one scorer. Yep. So even in an off game, um, when you are a gifted enough athlete like that, you can turn things on for yep. spurts. And if nothing else, him simply being on the court is yep. a distraction and a deterrent yep. from leaving your spot. So you can't give him that breathing yeah, I would love Same thing with Legend, to be honest. I would love to know what happened over there because I'm watching Legend, who's not sitting with the team right now, and I'm, I'm watching during those timeouts, Legend and Merritt are both off to the side, not fully part of the team. Yeah. So something must have happened that we're not aware of. Right. So... That's disappointing because we like watching both of them. Oh, play, they're both so. amazing, amazing players. Yep. Loose ball. We get a foul. And those small notes in basketball where you can just see teammate chemistry. The, I mean, the chemistry is on full display with this team, how much they're hyping each other up. Taz has been uh, getting averaging like five high fives a quarter. Yeah. Um, That's Tyler's nice. fourth foul. Not too much of a concern with 324 no. left to play, but. We've got two players now with four fouls. So right. Vantry goes in, misses, rebound. Ryan Gilbert gets it to Atazic. Over to Santa Barbara. 3-11 left to play. Atazic. Over to Gilbert. Gilbert out to Ebers. Over to Santa Barbara. It's basically a game of keep away right is, now. Yeah. Gilbert going for Why it. Why not, right? Yeah, Why not? That's it. Why not? Why not? You didn't let me play second and third period, <laughs> coach. I'm going to score now. 
Oh, man. Some foul? Technical. So. I didn't see the technical. Uh, you know, it must have been for trash talk. Must have been. And I think, um, I'm not going to say because I don't want to out this player, well, but was, I did see re one on, player's it lips. It was on Nico. Yeah, it was on Nico. I'm saying one of the other players on the team. Yeah. Know, by the lips, and they were like, come on, guys. So they didn't see what happened, but they heard the, the whistle blow, and they were like, come on, guys. We don't need to do Okay, Behan missed the first. Gets the second. So when you have a technical foul, automatically that team gets the ball as well. So Yeah, those are to be avoided at, <laughs> yeah, at all costs. We had a technical in the JV game tonight too. Really? But that to the um, coach of the Troy team. <laughs> so tempers were flaring. Yeah, well. So I, Troy gets the ball and a fresh shot clock. I understand the Troy coach. Yes. And Vantry puts it in. He's been pretty solid for his team he tonight. Has been defensively, and he has a really nice looking jumper. He has like really good body control in that. Steal thing. there from Behan, and Vantry. Vantry gets it in again and draws Four the foul. Four quick points plus the foul. I mean, Vantry, Vantry's having himself a night. I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. He is. I mean, he's somebody to count on for their team for sure. That foul's on number 34, Nate Oliver. That's his third. Team's fourth. Timeout by Gilderland, full timeout. Yeah, we certainly, 228 left to play. I mean, we still have a substantial lead, but you know, in basketball, anything oh. can happen. Yeah, I mean, that's why even when, you know, why sometimes when we, instead of saying the score, I'll just say the number of possession lead. Yep. Because right now, okay, hey, it's 12 points, but really when, when we think about that, a four possession game, you know, if it's threes. So it sounds like a lot of time, but you could absolutely have four possessions in two yep. and a half yep. minutes. You certainly could. You certainly could. So we want to protect what we have and make sure we don't throw it away because this could be our only win this season, and we need to protect that. <laughs> that's wild. It, it's no, wild that's to think that's of, that's but, no, 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 you know, I'm just trying. Have to go there. I say it. I know, I know. But it could be. I said could. No, I know. <laughs> I said could. <laughs> But, you know, you, you want to protect I that. You that. don't want to throw that out. You know, you, know you can't. We, we've can. seen so many times this season where we could have had it. A hundred percent. And we didn't. So you don't want to throw Specifically the away. last game that they played. Because the girls ended up winning, and we were like, okay, hey, these guys, you know, yeah. let's, let's play basketball like women. Yep. Let's pull our Caitlin yeah. Clark. And, uh, and then it didn't work out. And it didn't work out it's at in all. In the fourth so. quarter, just like you noted. Exactly. So, um, no, but today, today though, they're not going to lose it. They, they, this one... They can taste it, so therefore the, the hunger is going to override this. Let's hope, and let's hope that pulls us into playing a little bit harder during some other games this season, too. I agree. Vantry Ooh. Ooh, gets, a, gets a lucky bounce on that and makes the three-point play. That's five points for him in the last 30 seconds of play. Okay, again, with the press, yep. ball goes off of Troy, and they are everywhere trying to get every single ball. And Troy's adapted to the way to... Uh, to break the way that Gildren has been breaking the press. If you notice, um, they had uh, Acevedo come sprinting in to cut off that pass. But Gildren is Good heads up with Eberts there, because yes. if you're triple team, somebody's got nobody oh, on them. Oh, of course. Yep, you Two just people, have, yeah. you just gotta find that person and get right. that ball to them, which he did. Right, he saw Acevedo playing the passing lane right there, so he's yep. like, all right, cool, but that means that he's no longer on Santa Barbara, so that's good heads up play in a pressure situation. That foul is on Acevedo, that's his fourth. Team's third. 2.19 left to play. Ball gets into Witazic. Good use of height right there. Yep. Just getting the ball in. Honestly, just taking time off the clock. Oliver gets it to Will Santa be Barbara. enough for this possession. Now it's a game of possession. She, she. Ebers to Oliver. Santa Barbara who thought about it. Out to Gilbert. Ebers, 10 second warning. Ebers hey. takes it in, Goodbye, misses, Paul. but rebound by Oliver, taken away by Troy. Behan got that. Just stop the quick shot, make them waste time. Behan for three, no good. Rebound, turnover to the Dutch. Timeout. He didn't want me to have a quadruple double. Well, I saw that he ran over here and That's grabbed actually that crazy. so fast. Rude. And honestly, I've been hyping you up all game, so <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but, you know, I'm going to let it slide, though, because you're winning. Yeah, yep, yep. Timeout. As if they're not winning because I've touched the ball multiple times this game. You know what I mean? I, to me, personally, <laughs> I just feel like 
<laughs> as such a lack of appreciation of what I'm bringing to the team. But, you know, they don't want me to be great. That's, that's. <laughs> oh, you'll wake up from this stream at some point. <laughs> Will I? I don't Will know. I know. Yeah, true. You've it's been a few years. I haven't woken up yet. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Scores 53 to 40, but minute 39 left to play in regulation. <laughs> Timeout <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> this, this is fantastic. It has been fun. It sure has. We've got a full slate next week of games. No, Tuesday. No, no Tuesday. Just Tuesday. Tuesday. No games on Friday. Yep. And then the following week, uh, back to the usual Tuesday, Friday okay. schedule. Which is good. I mean, whew, three weeks of no ball has been a little oh, rough. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did go to the women's uh, UAlbany versus Navy game oh, uh, how on that? Saturday. It was awesome. It was fun to see Megan Herter play, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. local uh, Shen grad. It was fun to watch her. So Yes. For those who don't know, her brother's in the NBA. Yeah. Ebers to Santa Barbara, who's double teamed and stolen. Acevedo gets it and gets a layup. 11 point. 120 left to go. The defense is out of control for oh, Troy yeah. right now. They're doing everything they can. They sure are. What, I'm going to be honest. I really love the way that Troy's playing, though, because to me that is very much a no-quit spirit. And you're a team that's 1-7. You could easily be playing defeated this season. Yep. That foul's on Vincent Adams. That's his second. Team's fourth. Teams are even with fouls right now at four. Minute 14 left to play. Dutch with the ball. Oh, yeah, there was a push there. There was. I don't know why I'm talking as if they can hear me, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yep, got you. You know, I got that was so nice. Shout out to Nate Oliver. Not only does he. He, he said, said a thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. P. P. Yeah. I, yeah. I hope Nate gets a triple double, yeah. a quadruple double, a quintuple double his next game. He's going to hit both his free throws because of that. That's what happens. We, watch this. We Just like, watch it. We Just like, watch it. We like politeness for sure. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say, bro? What did I say? Oliver, good on the first. He's on the second. Nothing but net. Come on now. Come on now. All Come on now. Because he had manners. And to be clear, this is someone coming to this game. And I'm not knocking him. He was shooting 25% from the line. Yep. It's nothing but net those last two. Come on. Beautiful. Come on now. Behan for three, no good. Rebound, Tyler Wataszek. Minute left to play. Gilbert, Ooh, saved wow. by Oliver. Nice Oliver save. Is he's in double digit points. Yo, yeah. he's, he's a different man right that now. That was a beautiful save. Ebers. Oliver's wide open. Feed Oliver. Feed him. Yeah. Feed the man. Fouls on number one, Vantry. That's his second. Team's fifth of the period. Sends Ebers to the line. Ebers misses the first. It's all right. Totally fine. Even with 42.3 seconds left to go, we've got Nate and Santa Barbara like talking about what what are we doing here? What's the plan? And good on the second. Yeah, Ebert, he's I mean he's a really good free throw shooter coming to the game shooting almost eighty four percent. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna hit most of them. Yeah. Troy going for three, misses, rebound to the Barbara Dutch. Santa Barbara. And if we're able to hold the ball, we could let the clock run out at this point. Troy's not gonna let that happen. No. No, they have not quit. Nope. There goes our little cadre of alums. Uh-huh. Yep. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. Look at the smiles. <laughs> and a win in the for the Dutch tonight. Awesome. That is how you start off 2024. 56 to 42. What a fun game to call tonight. Congratulations, Dutch. It's a great night to be a Dutchman.
I got four touches. It's a beautiful and, night to be a Dutchman. It's a beautiful night Matt to be a Dutchman. And Matt had a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Be safe with the, with the snowstorm. See yes. you on Tuesday night. Take care.